to quickly modify Moodle. And if you're not sure of what resources you want to keep or get rid of, what you want to do is, I mean, this is the whole site, you turn editing on. And then you can, you have these little wheels or cogs, you can use them to modify things. So that one will modify whatever's on top of it. Um, this one modifies this part. Then you also have the eyes. Uh, the eyes may be helpful when you have too many resources. So if there's all these resources, but we only want four of them to be visible, we close the rest. And if they're grayed out like this, then nobody else can access it. Okay? There's also a big eye for the big boxes. Uh, apart from that, if you want to add a resource, click Add an Activity or Resource. And then you have a description here of what they do. From I want to add a file. That would be a PDF, a Word document, etc. I want to create an HTML page within Moodle. I want to add a link to a site. If you want to create an activity such as a forum, that's where you click for an activity as a forum. If you want them to submit a file, you can create an assignment. And once you add it, you'll have to fill out the required boxes. And that's pretty much it. So in this case, fill out the name, fill out the external URL, and then click Save at the bottom, and it'll end up kind of like this one. So that's a pretty short overview of how to use Moodle. Once you're done editing, turn editing off. And you see that the whole site looks different now. There's no cogs, there's no eyes, but the parts that are not visible shouldn't be visible anymore, etc. So there's an instructor view, which is what we all have, and then it's also the student's view. Our view has a lot of more tools and little bells and whistles that allow us to make the course how we want it to be. If you want to hide a whole module, sometimes you have the big eye, so you can hide a whole section if you want to. Thanks.